If you think I'm obsessed with puzzles, you should see my dad with his anvils. <laughs> Hi everybody! So today we are not doing a puzzle. Instead, I want to tell you all about my dad's anvil collection. Yes, anvils, those heavy iron tools that Lorelai Gilmore was asking where they all went. Well, they all went to my dad's museum, the Fisher & Norris Factory Museum, where he has collected over 500 anvils. The reason why I'm telling you all about it now is because he wrote a book all about the history of anvils and it is available now. This was a real family effort. You might remember me talking about a secret project that I was working on earlier in the year and it was laying out this book. There we are, there's the family, there's me right in the middle. So my dad wrote the book, my mom organized a bunch of the photos and scanned in a ton of stuff, uh, my sister edited the whole thing, and then I did all of the design and layout work. And this book is 376 pages, so it was a really big job. I'm gonna have all the links right down below for where you can get one, but right now, let me show you some anvils. So I was supposed to be home for a little while this spring, and I was going to shoot this video in the museum, but obviously that's not happening gestures broadly to world. So here is a walkthrough of the museum that I shot back in 2017. It is a private museum that is only open for private tours. There are over 500 anvils, including the only complete collection in the entire world of every type of anvil that the company Fisher & Norris ever produced. There's also tons of chain makers anvils, Hibudan anvils, star anvils, a lot of really rare vices, a lot of other just random stuff. You might be wondering what is the heaviest anvil in the collection? The heaviest blacksmithing anvil, which is the shape of what you normally think an anvil would be, is 800 pounds. And the heaviest chain maker's anvil is a thousand pounds. Just getting those transported into the museum and put into place was a project in itself. So you might be wondering, what is this Fisher and Norris that I keep talking about and also why anvils? Why is this a thing? So Fisher and Norris was a company that made anvils from 1843 to 1979. The factory was in Trenton, New Jersey, which isn't too far from where I grew up. So my dad was a wood and metal shop teacher at a high school until he retired a few years ago. And back in 1998, he read a book called Anvils in America by Richard Postman. And from reading that book, he just got really interested interested in anvils because he was already a blacksmith from being a metal shop teacher. So on page 191 of that book, there is an image of a price list that showed the address of the Crosley Machine Factory, which is the factory where Fisher and Norris anvils were being made at that time. So okay, it's 1999. My dad decides to drive to Trenton just to see what's at that address. <laughs> he had no idea what he was going to find, but he found an anvil factory. I mean, not one that was currently in operation. It had been shut down years ago, but there were people there. He got a tour of the place. And it turns out he got there just in time because a few months later, they were going to have a big auction to get rid of all of the tools and then demolish the building. Literally, he got there with months to spare just because he decided to drive out there one day. It's a crazy coincidence. So he ends up spending the summer of 1999 driving back and forth between our house and Trenton and loading up his truck with anvils and anvil patterns and paperwork and anything else he can save 
from this company because a few months later they had the auction they got rid of everything that was left a lot of it was sold some was just thrown away and then the building was demolished and there was no more anvil factory so back to our house once he had all of this stuff he obviously needed a museum to put it all in so he built a museum and that's where it's that's where it all started. He has spent the last 20 years building the collection and learning everything he can about Fisher and Norris anvils and just the history of anvils in general. So that brings us to today and to the book. He has been talking about writing this book for like a decade and it is finally finished. All of the knowledge and history that has never been compiled all in one place before, it's all here in this book. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle where all the pieces are finally all in one place. <laughs> See how I brought it back to puzzles? This book is so detailed, there are so many photos, and it's not just a technical description of anvils, there are a ton of great human stories interwoven into the history of this company, including a crazy connection to the Titanic, the woman who was the first ever female owner of a major American company, and just way more details than you ever thought it would be possible to know about anvils. So if any of that interests you, you can get the book right now at shop.fishernorris.com. Every single book will be signed by my dad and numbered. And there's also a real anvil that you can get. It is limited edition and once they're gone, there won't be any more made ever. So that's all on the shop. But if you just want to follow the museum and keep up with all of the crazy new anvils and other stuff that my dad gets for his collection, uh, you can follow him on Facebook at facebook.com slash Fisher Anvils. So now you know where all of this comes from, why I am a collector of anything I find interesting, although luckily jigsaw puzzles are much easier to transport than anvils. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anvils or anything else. Your code word for watching all the way to the end of the video will be book. Let's just keep it super simple today. So I will be back soon with more puzzles. I'll see you all in the next one.